All right, today we're going to talk about the three warning lights that come on. Often referred to as the three Migos. So those three on the screen there, ABS, traction control and hill descent and uh, how you fix them. So I've already done a video on the two Amigos, two of those lights on. See my channel for that one, which is a simple fix because it's usually the brake light switch. Uh, when it's three Amigos, it's usually not. So this is what it should look like when you first turn on the car. All the warning lights come on and then extinguish. This is a 2004 model year car, actually registered 2003. Start the car and door shut, no warning lights. Quite a few different faults that can lead to these warning lights as shown in this table of uh, faults and lights that are illuminated. Um, but usually, as I say, it's the ABS sensor. Some people say you can go around and measure the resistance of the sensors. There's a few different types that are used. Uh, when I tried that, it was a little bit inconclusive and doesn't seem to match up with the resistance that people quote. Uh, far too high, even though I could see when I later scanned them with my Altel scanner, they were actually working. So by far the easiest um, time-saving way of doing it is to get some sort of scanner uh, this is the Autel uh, AP200C that I've done a review on on my channel previously. And it has options on it, uh, software add-ons that can interrogate the ABS system. So uh, my option expired, I had to spend another $39 to get another year's worth of ABS sensing. But uh, as I say, well worth it. Uh, it talks to the system and it shows these error codes. You can see that it indicates the rear left ABS sensor has got a low reading. Uh, that's confirmed um, by the live data, which is also quite useful. You know, a live data readout of the speed of each wheel in miles per hour. And as you can see from this live data stream, there is a zero reading on that rear left wheel, which is confirmation again, it's not picking up a signal from that sensor. You can pick up ABS sensors pretty cheap for this car, about 20 pounds. Uh, all over eBay, just make sure you get the right sort for your year and VIN number. And uh, clearing out the codes is very straightforward in this software. Uh, as you can see here, uh, for the lights to actually disappear off the dash, you have to completely come out of the software and then they disappear. As you can see here, just start the engine again, just show there's no errors. There we go, no errors. So what we've got to do now is investigate why that ABS sensor is not working. So first of all, wheel off. Then this is the cable for the ABS sensor. Trace it round. Round here and here's the ABS sensor. Just held on by a little bolt here. Looks like an 8mm bolt. Uh, it doesn't seem to be too much wrong with the cabling. So we'll take that off, have a look inside. And then I guess we ought to also check the other end of the sensor, make sure it's plugged in properly. Oh yeah, it actually goes into this box here. So I can get better access to that box just by pulling the uh, wheel latch liner out of the way. And that's just held on with these little clips. Lever out the centerpiece, and then that'll release the main clip. And then I should be able to pull that one more to do. Should be able to pull that out of the way, like so, for better visibility. And just get a little screwdriver and lever up those clips to unhook it. And there's your plug, which you can pull out and unplug. This little bit here just needs squeezing in and the two halves pulling apart, which you need two hands for. And then uh, if it's a sensor that's gone, we can easily replace the sensor. And that's the sensor, just leave it out once the bolt has been removed. Superficially doesn't seem too much uh, wrong with it from the outside. So a little bit hard to see down that hole, even with the camera. Certainly see something rotating as I move the wheel. So I think in the first instance we'll just try a new sensor. So we've got a new sensor, fitted it in, put a bit of uh, copper grease on the unit to make it slide in a bit easier. And uh, strangely, the cable is a little bit uh, longer and it's got a slightly different fitting on here, uh, even though it's meant to be the right part number. I oh, know worries, I just cut this bit of rubber off the old one and I'll just put that in the place of this uh, wrong piece of rubber here. 
Um, so just got to finish that off, but I just thought I'd test it first on the live data on our AP200C dongle. So if we go over to that, if we rotate our wheel, and it needs something like this. And there we can see in the live data, it's now reading about the same miles per hour on the rear left and right, because the other wheel's jacked up. So that uh, is now working, so that's all good. So all, all we've got to do now is clear the code and reassemble everything. Uh, clip our box back in place again. So to clear the codes, back onto our software, erase codes, and read them to check that they are indeed cleared. They'll only clear off the dashboard once you exit out of that stage of the menu. And there we can see the three amigos have disappeared. Just stop the car to confirm that everything is now okay. So that's how to fix your three amigos. Uh, so very often it is an ABS sensor. Could be other things, but uh, probably 99% of the time it's one of those. You get this rust on the hub and so on, which misaligns them. Which may have been the case with the old one, but for 20 quid, uh, it was easier just to change the sensor. And uh, as I said, I don't believe measuring the resistance of these is a valid test because they're, I think they're, these ones are electronic devices, hall sensors, which don't really uh, register very much resistance on a multimeter. So you really do need a scanner to check which one has failed. Okay, thanks for watching. Good luck with yours. Bye.